Welcome back to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel. Alright, let's get real for a second. Why are you still broke? Yeah, I said it. You're out here hustling, doing all the right things, but somehow your bank account still looks like it's been on a starvation diet. It's frustrating, right? Well, guess what? You might be dealing with some serious money blocks, my friend. But don't worry, because today we're going to bust those blocks wide open using Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption. So if you're ready to go from, I can't afford that, to, I'll take two, please, then stick around. This video is about to change your life. But seriously, why does it seem like money is always slipping through your fingers? What's the deal with these invisible money blocks that keep you from living your best, wealthiest life? Well, buckle up, because we're diving deep into the world of money blocks, why they exist, and how to kick them to the curb using the law of assumption. And trust me, once you master this, you'll be making it rain in no time. Understanding money blocks, what the heck are they? Alright, let's start with the basics. What the heck are money blocks? Think of them like the annoying pop-up ads on your computer. They show up out of nowhere, slow down your progress, and make you want to throw your laptop out the window. But unlike pop-ups, you can't just hit close and move on. These blocks are sneaky little beliefs buried deep in your subconscious, telling you that you don't deserve money, that money is evil, or that there's never enough to go around. These beliefs often come from your childhood, society, or past experiences. Maybe you grew up hearing things like, money doesn't grow on trees, or rich people are greedy. Over time, these ideas get lodged in your subconscious, like a bad song stuck in your head, and they start running the show. Suddenly, you're sabotaging your own success without even realizing it. It's like trying to drive a car with the parking brake on. No wonder you're not getting anywhere. But here's the good news. These money blocks are not permanent. They're just thoughts, and thoughts can be changed. That's where Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption comes in. By changing the way you think and feel about money, you can remove these blocks and start attracting wealth like never before. So ready to kick these money blocks to the curb? Let's get to it. What is the Law of Assumption? Now, if you're new to the Neville Goddard universe, you might be wondering, what exactly is the Law of Assumption? Well, let me break it down for you in simple terms. The law of assumption is the idea that whatever you assume to be true, your subconscious mind will work to make it a reality. In other words, if you assume you're destined to be rich, your subconscious will do everything in its power to make that happen. But here's the catch. This works both ways. If you assume that money is hard to come by, or that you're always going to struggle financially, guess what? That's exactly what you'll experience. Your mind is like a 24-7 manifestation machine, constantly working to bring your dominant assumptions into reality. So if you're walking around with a money is evil mindset, it's no wonder you're stuck in a financial rut. So how do we flip the script? Simple, we start assuming the best. We start believing that money flows to us easily, that we deserve to be wealthy, and that abundance is our natural state. And let me tell you, when you start making these assumptions, the universe has no choice but to deliver. But don't just take my word for it, let's dive into the specifics of how to do this step by step. Step 1. Identify your current assumptions. Okay, first things first. Let's identify the money blocks that are currently holding you back. This step is crucial because you can't fix what you don't acknowledge, right? So grab a pen, a piece of paper, and get ready to do some deep soul searching. I want you to write down all the beliefs you currently hold about money. Be honest, no one's judging you here. Ask yourself questions like, what did my parents teach me about money? What do I believe about wealthy people? Do I feel guilty when I spend money? This might feel a little uncomfortable, but trust me, 
It's all part of the process. You've got to shine a light on those sneaky money blocks if you want to get rid of them. Now, look at that list and ask yourself, are these beliefs serving me or are they holding me back? Spoiler alert, they're probably holding you back. But don't worry, because we're about to turn things around. Remember, the law of assumption is all about replacing these limiting beliefs with empowering ones. So get ready to do some mental house cleaning because it's time to take out the trash. Step 2. Flip the script or write. Now that you've got your list of limiting beliefs, it's time to flip the script. Take each negative assumption you've identified and turn it into a positive one. For example, if you wrote down, money is hard to get, flip it to, money flows to me effortlessly. If you've got, rich people are greedy, change it to, wealthy people are generous and kind, you get the idea. This might feel a bit like lying to yourself at first, but remember, your subconscious doesn't know the difference between truth and fiction. It just believes whatever you feed it. So start feeding it some positive empowering assumptions. The more you repeat these new beliefs, the more your subconscious will start to accept them as reality. And before you know it, your external world will begin to reflect these new wealth attracting assumptions. Pro tip, don't just repeat these new beliefs in your head. Write them down, say them out loud, put them on sticky notes around your house. Make them a part of your daily routine until they feel as natural as breathing. The more you reinforce these new assumptions, the faster you'll start to see results. It's like planting seeds. Give them time, water them with positive energy and watch your financial garden bloom. Step 3. Embody the wealthy you. All right, you've flipped the script. Now it's time to embody the new wealthy version of yourself. This is where the fun really begins. I want you to start acting like the person who already has the wealth you desire. How would they walk? How would they talk? What decisions would they make? And no, I'm not telling you to go out and buy a yacht on credit. This is about mindset, not reckless spending. Start small. Maybe it's as simple as upgrading your wardrobe or treating yourself to a nice dinner. The key is to start feeling wealthy now, even if your bank account hasn't caught up yet. When you act as if you're already rich, you're sending a powerful signal to your subconscious mind and to the universe that you're ready for more money to flow into your life. And don't forget to make decisions from this new mindset. When opportunities come your way, ask yourself, what would wealthy me do? Would wealthy you invest in that course to learn a new skill? Would wealthy you pass up an opportunity out of fear? Of course not. Wealthy. You knows the value of investing in yourself and isn't afraid to seize opportunities. Start making decisions that align with your new wealthy identity and watch how quickly your life starts to shift. Remember, this isn't about pretending or faking it. This is about becoming the person who naturally attracts wealth. When you embody the energy of abundance, you start to see it reflected in every area of your life. So walk, talk and act like the wealthy version of yourself and soon enough, you'll see that wealth manifest in your reality. Step 4. Visualize with feeling. All right, now that you're embodying wealthy you, it's time to add some extra oomph to your manifestation process with visualization. But here's the catch. Visualization without feeling is like a sandwich without the filling. It's the emotion that gives your visualization power. So, when you're imagining yourself living your wealthy life, really get into it. Feel the excitement, the joy, the relief, whatever emotions wealthy you would be feeling. Picture yourself checking your bank account and seeing more zeros than you can count. Imagine walking into your dream home, knowing it's fully paid for. 
feel the satisfaction of making a big donation to your favorite charity. The more real and vivid you can make these visualizations, the more effective they'll be. Your brain doesn't know the difference between a real experience and an imagined one, so by visualizing with feeling, you're programming your subconscious to believe that this wealthy life is your reality. And here's a pro tip. Practice your visualizations right before bed or as soon as you wake up. These are the times when your subconscious mind is most receptive. So give it some powerful, wealth-filled images to work with and watch how your reality starts to shift in your favor. Step 5. Affirmations and Mantras Next up, let's talk about affirmations and mantras. I know, I know, you've probably heard about these a million times, but trust me, they work, especially when you're trying to remove money blocks. Affirmations are like little seeds that you plant in your mind, and with enough repetition, they'll grow into your new reality. But here's the key. Your affirmations need to be powerful, positive, and in the present tense. So instead of saying, I want to be rich, say, I am rich. Instead of saying, I hope money comes to me, say, money flows to me effortlessly. Repeat these affirmations daily, out loud with conviction. And don't just say them, believe them. Remember, the law of assumption is all about assuming that your desires are already true. So speak these affirmations as if they're already a part of your reality. Want to take it up a notch? Turn these affirmations into mantras and repeat them throughout the day. Say them in the shower while you're driving or even while you're waiting in line. The more you repeat these affirmations, the more they'll sink into your subconscious and start to change your money mindset from the inside out. And before you know it, those old money blocks will be nothing but a distant memory. The importance of gratitude. All right, here's a big one that often gets overlooked. Gratitude. I know it sounds cheesy, but gratitude is like rocket fuel for your manifestations. When you're grateful for what you have, you're telling the universe, I appreciate this and I'm ready for more. It's like hitting the more please button on life. And the best part? It instantly shifts your energy from lack to abundance. So every day, take a few minutes to write down or think about what you're grateful for, big or small. It could be as simple as, I'm grateful for this delicious cup of coffee, or as grand as, I'm grateful for the financial freedom I'm creating. The key is to feel the gratitude in your heart, not just go through the motions. When you truly feel grateful, you raise your vibration, making it easier to attract even more things to be grateful for. And here's a little hack. Start expressing gratitude for the wealth you're manifesting even before it shows up. Say things like, I'm so grateful for the financial abundance that's coming my way, or thank you for the wealth and prosperity in my life. This not only aligns you with the energy of abundance, but also reinforces your new positive assumptions about money. Trust me, the more you practice gratitude, the faster you'll start to see results. Keeping the faith, trusting the process. Now, I know what you might be thinking. This all sounds great, but what if it doesn't work? Well, that's where faith comes in. Removing money blocks and manifesting wealth isn't an overnight process. It takes time, patience and a whole lot of trust in the process. But here's the thing. If you've done the work, if you've flipped your assumptions, embodied the wealthy you, visualized with feeling and practiced gratitude, then you've got to trust that the results are on their way. Think of it like planting a seed. You don't dig it up every day to see if it's growing. You water it, give it sunlight, and trust that it will sprout in its own time. The same goes for your wealth manifestation. Keep doing the work, keep embodying the energy of abundance, and have faith that the universe is aligning everything perfectly for you. And remember, 
Sometimes the results show up in ways you least expect, so stay open and stay positive. And if doubt starts to creep in, just remind yourself of all the work you've done. You've identified and flipped your money blocks, you're living as wealthy you, and you're staying aligned with abundance. The results are inevitable, it's just a matter of time. So keep the faith, trust the process, and know that your wealth is on its way. Your new wealthy reality. So there you have it. The complete guide to removing money blocks using Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption. You've learned how to identify and flip your limiting beliefs, embody the wealthy version of yourself, visualize with feeling, practice affirmations, and stay grateful and patient throughout the process. Now it's time to put it all into action and watch your financial reality transform. Remember, the only thing standing between you and the wealth you desire is your own mindset. But now, you've got the tools to break through those money blocks and start attracting the financial abundance you deserve. So don't just sit back and hope for the best. Take control of your life, apply these techniques and start living the wealthy life you've always dreamed of. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more powerful manifestation content. And hey, if you're ready to dive even deeper, check out our exclusive coaching programs linked in the description. We're here to help you every step of the way as you manifest the life of your dreams. Until next time, Keep believing, keep manifesting, and remember, wealth is your birthright.